welcome back to my channel so today i figured i would do a grocery haul for you if you do not already know i um am attempting or i've been i guess making my way into the um low impact movement which if you didn't know basically is like zero waste, but it's for people who just aren't able to do zero waste. Um, you know, people who, I don't know, live in California and they have, you know, farmer's markets all year round pretty much. And, you know, they have all sorts of like specialty stores around them. Those people are the people that can do zero waste. Those people are the people who have like bulk co-ops and, um, all of their grocery stores have bulk items and stuff like that, but, um, for me, who live in a small town in Ontario, Canada, it's just not feasible. On top of that, my family is not vegan, um, so we do have, um, products that don't come in um like zero waste packaging and stuff like that so things um i basically i'm doing everything i can to just help the earth and as you can see i use reusable bags and we'll get into the other things if you like these types of videos and if you're interested in the low impact movement then give this video a thumbs up and if you enjoy hanging out with me even though i have messed up lipstick then you're just the real MVP of this video, aren't you? Okay, so my first stop was Bulk Barn. If you do not know, Bulk Barn has a reusable container program. You can either um, buy their containers or you can actually bring in your own as long as they are clean and they are allowed to write on them with this like wax marker. So you just go up to the front and you put, they, they weigh all of your cans, they write the number on the top and then you go and fill your stuff up. I love these little reusable bags because they're great for actually storing the product. So I won't, I mean all of these containers really are. The only one that I'm going to take out is the oats because I just needed a little bit more oats so I just brought this one. Otherwise I would normally use like a big bag like this. But I just needed a little bit more oats for the rest of the week so I'm just going to add this to my big um, my big container of oats. Anyway, um, so these are, um, Ella's, what's called a party snack. It's a little snack that they have at the end of the day, um, and in her class. And so all the kids get to sit down on the carpet and they get to just hang out and chill out, um, and have their little snack. It can be, um, it's generally more of an unhealthy snack. Um, just something a little bit sweet to help boost their mood so that they um, feel a little bit better going home. Um, and then they also go outside and play right afterwards. So she ha is getting two of these little cookies for her party snacks. These are actually dry roasted unsalted tamari style almonds. I thought I was just getting dry roasted almonds. I was looking for the, I was looking for natural almonds but they didn't have any they only had the california blanched or something like that i don't know they were expensive so i don't even know if i like these hopefully ty likes them if i don't like them but um yeah those are going to be part of my um snack i got some pecan bits just because the whole ones were a little bit more expensive this time so i got them little the top ones these are quick rolled oats quinoa and then this is dainty brown rice short grain and then here i have brown rice pasta it's a fusilli um it's the spiral ones so next we have some fruits and vegetables um i get these tomatoes and this is what i mean by you know something that's low impact because all of these containers are recyclable and while I don't like the fact that I have to get plastic containers that my fruit comes in unfortunately we at this point in the year don't have a farmers market open in order to get 
like um, if I were to go to a farmer's market, I could just ask them to instead of giving me the plastic container to just dump it into my bag and they would be okay with that. And I can do that in the summer, but in the winter time, unfortunately, I can't. So I just do everything I can to just reduce my impact. So there are strawberries in my grocery store that come in plastic bags, which Petawawa cannot recycle or they don't recycle because it's too expensive. So instead I get them in the plastic containers and I can either reuse these plastic containers for other things or I can at least recycle them because they have the recycle symbol on the bottom and I know that my recycle center takes them. So I got one of these um, organic strawberries and then I also got a normal thing of strawberries because all the other organic ones were moldy, like literally moldy in the container, which is very frustrating. I got two um, things of raspberries. I love raspberries. These are going to be my snacks. I also got some um, organic red seedless grapes, some blackberries and blueberries because Ella likes these mixed with cantaloupe chunks for her um, fruit snack for the week. I also got some um, cherry tomatoes and they are um, they are going to be not only roasted in the oven but I'm also just going to eat some of them with hummus and then I got some bananas. Okay, so a few more, again, quote-unquote, successes and failures. Um, we'll just talk about the elephant in the room. A plastic bag of green beans. This frustrates me so much because if it was the summertime, I'd be able to go over to my McGregor's food stand and I'd be able to pick up some green beans not in a plastic bag. They would just dump them into my little reusable produce bags and I'd move on but because it actually snowed today <laughs> all of the farmers markets are closed all the food stands are closed down so i have to get this and it's either green beans in this sort of bag or in the frozen green beans and i just prefer to get um green beans in this sort of um like like fresh green beans not frozen that's just me personally I got three lemons that I'm going to use for lemon water. I got some Brussels sprouts, some apples that are going to be used as snacks. I got two things of spinach that are going to go in smoothies and salads. I got some carrots. I only got one bunch because I already have some carrots in the fridge as well, so I'll just be able to combine them. And I got um, a sweet onion and then some avocados. Okay, so next up was independent. And I got two things of So Fresh Oat Unsweetened Original Milk. It's oat milk. And the reason that I do oat milk is because, um, number one, it was on sale this time. It was less expensive than unsweetened almond milk. Number two, Ella has to have either oat or rice milk or soy milk. But I find that soy milk breaks me out, so I don't, I don't have soy milk in the house personally. But, um, and on top of that, I don't want to give Ella too much soy because she already has wow butter, which is a soy, a roasted soybean peanut butter substitute. So I don't like giving her too much soy because just from my personal experience, it can, it breaks me out really bad and I don't want her to have to go through that. So I get oat milk so that she can have milk for school. Here, you want some spinach, Judy? Oh, there you go. Um... So I give, I got two things of oat milk. I also got this buttercup squash. I've never had buttercup squash. Normally I either get butternut squash or acorn squash, but they were out at my store. So I picked up this weird looking guy and uh, I'm gonna roast him up. I got two big old sweet potatoes. I got three blueberry bagels for Ella. I What I do is I cut them in half, um, like I, I chop them like this, I cut them like this, and then I cut the actual bagel in half, and um, she likes wow butter and jam on it, and then that's what she gets sent to school with her for a sandwich. I'm gonna be making hummus as part of my snack. So I got two cans of chickpeas, fully recyclable, feels very good. Beans in a bag, the disgrace of this 
grocery haul. And then I got LS some wild butter. I had to get her the crunchy kind because um, they were out of the creamy kind. Last but not least, I got two pounds of ground turkey and five boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So I'm going to be making turkey burgers out of this and roasting up the chicken for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. Sorry, I guess it wasn't more interesting, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Um, this is definitely kind of the norm for our grocery hauls now. Um, just simple food, nothing too fussy or fancy. Um, I will admit that um, I generally also normally would get a small jar. I have like a little jar. I don't know where it is right now but it's literally like this big and um, I have a little jar that I normally fill with candy for myself for the week but um, I'm doing this clean eating challenge with my friend and she just really wants and really needs my support in it um, so I'm, I'm doing it with her and there's no candy allowed. There's actually not a lot allowed. Um, if you're interested in it, I'll leave a link for it down below, but full disclosure, after the 10 days, I'm not going to continue doing it. I'm going to eat like a normal human being because it's also very expensive to eat like this. I cannot believe how jacked up my lips look. Okay, I'm going to go now and I will see you guys in my next video.